Hello Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. So we'll be doing things a bit different uh, today. We'll be shuffling on camera because I do read the comments and I got, I think, two, two people <laughs> that wanted me to shuffle on camera. So I probably won't do this all the time just because personally I don't like um, sitting through shuffling and especially I do use two decks. It just it's a tedious process and then when I'm editing I have to sit through the entire video and edit as well because I film by my front door and there's other people in the house and there is distractions and noises here and there so I hope you understand but for today's we will be shuffling on camera So we'll get this person's thoughts when it comes to you. <sighs> Their feelings. There is reversals in this deck, but wow, we have all upright here. This person's intentions towards you, Taurus. That's the challenge, how this person views you. And the short outcome between the both of you. And the long-term outcome between the both of you. Yeah, this seems to be separation breakup here. This person's thoughts when it comes to you, well, they don't want conflict. So I am getting there was drama here. They're seeing you as the queen of pentacles, which is beautiful. It is their other half. They're coming through as the king of pentacles. So they be, they see your value, right? Um, they see that you're someone who's very grounded, um, nurturing your... You have your finances in order. You're very practical, hardworking. So they see all your positive traits, but there does seem to be drama and it can be other people getting in the way. But I want to clarify um, the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords for this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus. January 15th to the 31st. Why is Five of Swords here? Well, their thoughts is that they want to speak to you, but they're holding back out of spite to get back at you, to get a reaction out of you, but they really want to speak to you is what I'm seeing. There's a feeling of, yeah, there's restlessness if there's no contact, which I see for a lot of you. Why is Five of Swords here for this person's thoughts? Maybe someone who's intentionally giving you the silent treatment is what I'm seeing. Three of Swords and some of you, um, yeah, this is someone who's giving you the silent treatment. It can be a Scorpio. We have Gemini coming through. There's a lot of attraction, almost possessiveness to some extent, but I don't think they show that side of them. 
they're very competitive so if they feel you're moving on yeah i see jealousy here but if it was a third party situation they see that you're not having it right queen of pentacles is not one to involve themselves in third parties why is death here Yeah, they want to communicate. I see text messages back and forth. Um, this may be someone, I'll give you an example. If it's someone new you're getting to know, this person plays little mind games with you um, to see if you really care, if you will come after them. That is what is going on here. So they hold back communication to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> but you're turning your back. So if this person feels that you're I'm getting away, you're slipping away, they'll they're wanting to rush back in. There's a little bit of desperation. I'm not sure desperation is the right word. Sense of urgency, right? Is what I'm seeing. How they're feeling about you, we have King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This person's extremely stubborn. They do miss you, but they don't reveal much here. I want to clarify. They pretend like they don't care, but they really do. Why is King of Pentacles here? Yeah, they're heartbroken. They're very unhappy. Nine of Cups in reverse. Wow, yeah. If this person's in another situation, um, they're already committed. Um, I don't think they're very fulfilled in that situation either, but they're holding on because they're not, there's a fear of change or there's, they're not ready for change is what I'm seeing. Why is four of pentacles here? But if this person's not in another situation, right, um, they do miss you and they're still holding on to you, memories of you. Four of pentacles, five of cups, they're heartbroken. But they're trying to keep it together by focusing on the more mundane, right, practical, day-to-day, -day, getting things done. But emotionally, they're very distraught here. Why is Four of Pentacles here? A lot of you, this is because you're turning your back or you've emotionally withdrawn. Judgment. Scorpio energy again. Why is Five of Cups here? Yeah, there's, there's conflict within a commitment, a job situation, if you work with this person, but a lot of you I'm getting, there was a third party, but if it's not third party, it's just not seeing eye to eye. I see conflict here, and this person stubbornly clinging to their point of view. They're not wanting to compromise, yet whatever they're doing here is causing them disappointment because they miss you. They want to speak to you. They're still very attracted to you. Their intentions towards you. We have justice upright. The lovers in reverse. Four of swords upright. Their intentions is to hold back. Because they feel they're doing what's right for everyone involved. Right? In their opinion... Taurus, they're being fair and just, right? Whether you agree with that or not, you would know, but according to them, they're in the right. Those of you this person was committed, they, they could only offer you passion, right? Because 
they're committed elsewhere. So they were coming through as emotionally unavailable. Or they're trying to do the right thing. Yeah, this is someone who's on a break from you and they're very focused on their finances, whatever they do for a living. A bit of a workaholic energy coming through Taurus, which is why there is a fallout. Little to no communication, Four of Swords. I want one more for justice. Why is justice here for this person's intentions towards Taurus, Knight of Pentacles? It's very restless. This person's trying to appear very composed in control. And they're coming through as very cautious, but it's almost one foot in, one foot out. They haven't they haven't quite left the situation, Taurus. Although they're not speaking. Or they're giving little of themselves. My priestess six of wands in reverse. They feel the situation won't go anywhere. And there's no harmony balance here between the both of you, which is why we had five of swords coming through. The obstacle here is the eight of pentacles and the star. Um, this has something to do with money, a work situation. Some of you, the obstacle is distance. Why is eight of pentacles coming through as the challenge? Clarify the eight of pentacles as the challenge here. Four of Cups in reverse, yeah. Wasn't I telling you this person to get their mind off of their emotions and whatever difficulty, right, they're going through? It's negative emotions when it comes to you. Five of Cups, they, they put their head down and immerse themselves into some sort of project, work situation. Perhaps taking on a heavier workload. Why is the star here? King of Swords, Aquarius energy. This person's coming through as extremely detached. I'm seeing a lot of tens. Tens talk about completions, ace of swords, and new beginning. There may be a breakthrough here in communication because they they definitely wanted to reach out to you. That's a good question. <laughs> what action will this person take towards Taurus? January 15th to the 31st. What action will this person on Taurus mind take towards Taurus? Devil, wow, okay. No. Yeah, they've been watching you secretly, spying on you, if they have means to do so, or they've been obsessively thinking about you. Why is the devil here? Yeah, if there has been an ending, an argument, they want a new beginning with you because they love you. This person's obsessed with you. Not only are they physically drawn to you, but with the King of Cups upright, it's true love. Yeah, they're wanting to rush in with passion and stability, with an offer. It's, it is an ace, right? It's Ace of Pentacles, but... It's a seed, right? You will have to nurture, water that seed for it to grow into anything. But in their intentions, we had that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's dragging their feet, but the, I was telling you that it's sort of one foot in, one foot out. Some of them may be starting a new job or traveling for work, and that's taking them away uh, from this situation for a bit. 
but their emotions still lie with you. We had a lot of Scorpio, so they're almost fixated on you here, Taurus. For how they're viewing you, Eight of Cups, Upright, Seven of Swords in Reverse, some of you may be avoiding them, but they see you as emotionally withdrawn and not focused on them, trying to walk away. Why is this person viewing Taurus as the Eight of Cups? Yeah, it's almost mirroring one another. We had four of pentacles in their feelings as well. Yeah, there may have been some argument, a separation, some sort of upheaval. And you turned your back with the five of swords. You're upset about something. Some of you, they feel that you're holding on to some sort of resentment. Why is seven of swords in reverse here? for how this person is viewing Taurus. The latter half of January 3, <laughs> look at that, back turned. They feel your back is turned, Taurus, to this situation. And you're moving forward. Yeah, you're ignoring this. Four of swords, two of swords, you're not doing much here. The short-term outcome, we have the world in reverse, magician upright. There's unfinished business and someone's still wanting to make this happen. I definitely get this for this person's energy. They haven't let go of you. They're wanting communication, right? They've been thinking about this. Why is the world in reverse here? Knight of Cups, they're wanting to offer you love. Eight of Swords. Someone here is an overthinker, is what I'm seeing. It can be this person, especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, they go round and round. Wow, yeah. As I was saying, an overthinker, Nine of Swords. Very stressed out. Why is the Magician here? Gemini energy. There may be some delays, but I see communication and some forward movement. But a lot of messages back and forth. Um, passion. This can definitely be passion. The long-term outcome, we have eight of wands, nine of swords in reverse. So there's delays, blockages here for long-term outcome. Let's clarify. Some of you, yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely getting a lot of reference to travel. I had Chariot wanting to flip through as well, world, world Eight of Wands. Some of you may have met this person through social media or online, or that is how you communicate. Clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse for the long-term outcome here between Taurus and the person on their mind. I see blockages in communication because someone is either, they have a lot of responsibilities, you know, family, children, and that is coming through as a challenge here. And others of you, it's stubbornness with that five of swords, right? My way or the highway, control issues, definitely see that. Why is eight of wands in reverse here for the long-term outcome? King of Wands. Why Nine of Swords in reverse? The connection remains. It's almost soulmates here, right? You both feel it. But for one or both of you, the situation is extremely stressful, right? It brings you a lot of anxiety. And there is blockages here moving forward. And if that is the case, if the situation throws you off balance, right? 
It causes you to feel unstable. I see you regaining control over your self-emotions. And some of you, you, you distancing yourself is bringing you a lot of peace here with that Nine of Swords in reverse. So if there is separation distance, this, some of you may choose to continue this. And if that is the case, this person is still very attracted to you, right? Physically, they're very much drawn to you with that King of Wands. They think about this a lot with the Four of Swords. I'm seeing someone contemplating, right? So they'll continue to watch you here if you choose to not communicate, right? And for others of you, I do see communication, but the situation is a bit rocky here. Why is Nine of Swords? No, let's clarify the King of Wands. I want one card for that energy. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. A lot of you don't trust this person, or it can be vice versa, because you may feel they have a wandering eye, or they there's competition here, right? Five of Wands, or there's just disagreements. I see this a very stubborn energy stubborn yet very fixated on you what does this person want from taurus what does this person want from taurus what does this person want ah these cards are difficult yeah, they want sex. They want passion. There's a lot of chemistry, overwhelming desire for you. Sun in reverse. Why sun? Some of you, there is. This person's committed. They have children, which is why they're holding back. So they can only offer passion and in their actions they're rushing in with the devil and knight of wands a few of you taurus if it's a newer energy they're not sure where they stand with you some of them question if you're even attracted to them because you're coming through as very mysterious Someone who had their back turned. This person's been reflecting. If you've been through a breakup, right? There, there's a lot that you share a past with this person. They think about you a lot with that Virgo energy. It's a very, it's a little bit of a pessimistic energy here, Taurus, right? They're very attracted to you, but they have little hope that this will work out, it seems. Let's get you some oracle cards. Wow, addiction is how they're feeling. That's crazy. And we had the devil for what action they'll take. We have codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Yeah, they trying to appear um, in control more balanced but it's hard for them it's almost for some of you they keep their distance so you don't realize how obsessed they are with you if that makes sense so they have this armor they don't want you to let you in but they're addicted and if you pull back your energy they're very sad with the moon and the sun in reverse and we have the Five of Cups in their feelings. We have Coffin, yeah. Soulmates, wasn't I saying? Soulmates, yeah. Endings bring new beginnings, which is why I think I was seeing all the tens. We have a growth, change, liberation, transition. So this person's having a hard time adjusting to the changes. If there's been a breakup, they're having a hard time releasing you completely. We have abundance, yeah. So they're focused on building themselves up we also have self-indulgence yeah keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss 
king of pentacles can be a very it's a businessman businesswoman so yeah they they're trying to distract themselves here with their work to get over this situation or to get their mind off of you we have independence do you see how he's pushing the boat away yeah i don't need anyone but it's a it's a mask needy yeah this is the truth do you see that do you see the contradicting energies independence and neediness they're addicted some of you may have pushed this person away but they're very dependent she's trying to walk out the door he's holding on to her it's clinging this person feels like they need you and they need to focus on self-love we have adventure and look at that with the devil and the ace of wands for what they want we have lust but the issue is problem because you're very different some of you can be opposites attract but there's challenges you don't see things the same way right and so both of you may want very different things out of this relationship you may be you're you're emotionally unfulfilled with the eight of cups for how they were seeing you you're not satisfied. You need an emotional connection. This person's bringing a lot of passion, right? Your way. Adventure, fun times, but I think you want more. And this person's aware of that, if that is the case. Revenge. Yeah, three people. Yeah, this is for those of you I was telling you that they're viewing you as someone who's holding on to a grudge, some sort of resentment. She's pushing a boulder over this couple. So those of you, it was a third party, yeah. Revenge here. But we also had five of swords in their thoughts. So they were testing you to get a reaction, right? It's a bitter energy. Whoa. I'm not taking that. How will this person on Taurus mind feel about Taurus January 15th to the 31st? Any additional messages? Haha. <laughs> yeah, revengeful. I'm feeling vindictive towards you. It's better we keep our distance. Yeah. There is an argument or there will be some challenges here. You have so many after your love. How could you possibly only want me? I'm not sure if I will be enough for you. So some of you, this five of swords energy is stemming from insecurities, right? That you're better than them. This may be someone who competes with you, but also plays little games to test you. I'm not affected by what happened in the past anymore. I've been working on myself, eight of pentacles. They are, but they haven't entirely healed because we had the five of cups and three of swords upright, right? So it's work in progress. Some of you, if this disappointment wasn't um, in regards to you, it can be a divorce or some other relationship that they were clinging to, right? So they're trying to let that go and they're wanting to offer you the ace of pentacles let's get one more yeah they don't want to lose you which is why they're holding on though i'm scared i'm more scared to lose you i've never been in love before until i met you it was love at first sight yeah this person liked you instantly they're very attracted to you borderline obsessed here taurus what, what advice do you have for Taurus when it comes to this person on their mind, January 15th to the 31st? We have what a mess. This situation has gotten messy, too many outside influences. Some of you, it's a third party. Others of you, it's distance or just interference from family, friends. Yeah, the situation has gotten messy, too many outside influences, but love isn't always clean and pretty love will rise again and become stronger yeah so that is very positive right if you both are wanting to work on this 
Um, it definitely can work out here is what the cards are indicating, but it really depends on you as well with the magician, right? Are you manifesting this? Do you want this? There was a sense of unfinished business here in the outcome. But yes, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and let me know. Do you like for me to shuffle on camera or do you like when I lay out the cards beforehand? Yeah, I'm curious to know your thoughts. But yes, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.